the digital forensics actually in a Windows environment and the incident response, the FIR, it's one of the very deep and very complex and very long uh, field of activity. Uh, that's what we're going to do today. It's uh, one of the tasks that we might think of. It's the second practice in the, uh, on the Windows platform, yes, but even though it is a time, why? Because we understood last class and last practice what we should do in order to start the forensics uh, and investigation using Microsoft, Microsoft OS. Today we're going to uh, do in a professional way. We're going to start preparing our lab by taking our precautions, enabling and disabling uh, utilities, uh, trying to see if there are things actually uh, being disabled in prior, and so on. So, uh, to start with, actually, the first thing I'm, I'm going to do is that I'm going to generate a backup and restore from the registry that we might uh, find necessary uh, or needful later. Why? Because all the modifications to the uh, registry might, there are, might, there are very sensitive uh, hives of, of actually our entries. If you just modify that, it might cause a damage to the computer fully. So to avoid that, we generate a backup uh, until if there is actually uh, a necessity, we will we'll just recover from there. If there is no necessity, the backup is with us. With us. Great. So I'll start with with the context of the yes the registry of um, creating first of all creating a restore point. This is actually for precaution and for uh, let's say uh, it's a preventive measure in order to avoid any any um, issues that might happen in uh, in between if if there is any problem or a problematic view that can face us. We may recover our system to uh, an older uh, age. So. To do so, I'm inside the uh, I'm inside the the normal computer here in our in our, in our uh, campus. But if I try to open the reg edit, it will not allow me even. It will not allow me. There are tricks actually to to start it up. But to do so, to avoid such an issue, I'm gonna just uh, do the thing uh, on the uh, machine we created earlier. So our machine, our regular machine, no updates usually. Uh, yes, did like a password. Okay, it is uh, almost. Great, I'm gonna pass to full screen mode. Immediately, actually, I'll try to open the reg edit. The reg edit. Sorry. The reg edit, open. Yes, we have the user account control window. User account control window. We'll just avoid it fully from the, from the end. Uh, Loaded. Okay. I'm gonna close everything and I'm gonna start from the scratch. Okay, I'm gonna start the uh, reg edit again. Reg edit. Yes, user account control. Okay. We have our run a registry. Okay. To do so, to do so, actually, to continue uh, based on our facts, we are going to disable the uh, the uh, the CLR. Sorry, the 
yes, the um, user account control actually tool which is do the enable at UA tool or let's say entry hive uh, software Microsoft the NAFTA the NAFTA the NAFTA Windows conversion Windows current version Okay Current version, yes. Policies, I search for policies, I was searching it outside. Make a mistake. Policies, and in here, and in here. Okay, let's just uh, search the key itself. So, uh, policies then system, policies then system, current version, policies then system. Okay, uh, here uh, the system, current version. Okay, like in, uh, I'm not gonna. Okay, system, plus we are in. Then enable LUA, this is the one, this is the one. We need to disable so double click. I'm going to change it to zero the value zero. Yes, here it is. Okay, terminate. You must restart. Uh, pick to restart this computer. Okay, I'm going to just uh, do that. Yes, restart because already we modified the. The registry so the machine will restart and get it started okay same password Just wait for it to reload. Yes, here it is. Let me let me immediately now try to open the registry. I get it. I get it. Enter. Immediately open. It did not ask me for uh, user account control. There is no user account control completely. It means when I opened, everything is open already. Okay, okay we'll continue. Let me exit the full screen. Okay, I did not actually, I passed the first level, which is, the first step which is to create a restore point. I'm gonna create a restore point. But I'm gonna just call the thing with its name. STR user interface. Okay. 
y a search it or str or anything. Enter. Me as C, it is asking me for username and password, which I will not give, which I will not give. Even I do not have. So to do so, again, virtual machine and full screen mode. So restore, I'm going to say restore. Restore user interface. Yes, that's it. That's the one. Yes, here he said that uh, Simpson can have fixed problems. System restore does not attach any of your uh, documents, pictures. Okay, cancel this thing. Okay, cancel here in this case. But in, in, in another word, if, if you give me the yes, after the yes, I choose the date and that's it, confirm. Yes, and confirm. That's the, that's the point. So, this way we were able to at least prepare our uh, computer for the best practice according to our needs. The user account control, it will not bother us again. It will not bother us again. Okay, let's come back to the uh, normal view. And let's dig in further. Okay. For a reason or another, for a reason or another, actually, we are required to um, to display all the all the secrets, no more or less. So I'm going to just uh, uh, explore and browse the system files responsible for pointing the end users, the sessions, and this computer system files but they actually point in the end user see colon slash dollar recycle dot bin enter you can't find his sign can't find his sign check it let me check the spelling Recycle dot bin. Yes, it is. Okay, so um, again, I'm going to just do it just to be sure that everything is uh, working fine. And yes, here I am. Here I am. So, recycle bin, recycle dot bin. Those are all system files responsible to identify this and uh, those end users. Those end users. So, uh, explore anything. Anything to not run like that because we may open it from within the uh, reg edit. Let's try. So immediately, just let me uh, open the. Uh, let me take uh, copy as part, whatever copy as part. Any so shift, shift the keyboard, right click in the mouse, copy as part. Here it is, and I'm gonna uh, move to full screen mode first. Then regulate. it. Here it is regulate. it. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna close all to be sure that everything is fine. Here on the uh, H keys on the H keys here the users. I'm going to add a hype. So here, uh, what did I do? I copied it from the external machine, you know. So I have to copy this thing. I from the internal machine, not the external machine. So, dollar. 
yes c colon dollar recycle dot bin here it is but it's empty i do not have any access here i do not have any trace in this computer so the, 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 there is no trace in this computer why because even we do not open it with the password i believe Let me try to finish. Yes, again. Yes, correct now. Yeah, there is no password here, so it will not give us a, a lot of data. So let me just check uh, the regate again. Regate it. It works very fine. That's good. So, 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 so. Let me. I was about to. Yes, the recycle. The recycle bin inside the. And let's lo let's load it. So here. Nothing is visible to me from here, so I'm going to open the folder. The same, the same, the same request. Recycle. Dot bin. Home. The current slash. Yes, I'm in, but it's empty. I do not have anything here. It's empty. So that's great. So at least we have actually a path via which we can uh, track the end user activity because here um, in the normal computer I would not be able to track the end users sorry the uh, the well yeah, yeah track any users any any log sessions in this computer without the system files here so the system files will make us explore more and more explore more and more from what from what we can actually exp um, extract, so if I if I let me move to full screen mode, mode if I just call the reg edit again, reg edit, remind all what we saw last class. So, uh, so, so, um, to load the hive actually, or to know what is the hive, or to track somebody, we need an entry here in this registry. We need an entry. Uh, the one we were trying to extract, it is for a reason or another, it's not available. So, I'm going to try another solution, which is from, uh, from India only. So, uh, the hives we're going to add, see, I can actually, last class we explained that the sessions available in this computer, they are two for me here, and we can explore the content, those are the sessions, and those are the visited, let's say, uh, tools and utilities. Uh, so, we can add another hive the same way, 
file import and uh, later on you can either we try to find what we got in the uh, in the in the recycle now the recycle is empty otherwise otherwise we go to the other directory which is which is c users default and yes here we have actually something different actually amongst the things the most important thing is that the the session of the user here is, is this uh, net user date of that this uh, net user that is one of the files or one of the resources that you cannot actually neglect why because this is the one that would hold all the date of the uh, of the user that has been logged i try to copy if it copy it gets copied it will say no so i'm going to copy again Okay, we got it. We got it. It has been copied. It has been copied. Great. So I'm going to try to analyze this one and I'm going to try to use this one to block. Always what it, what it can come. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to. Okay, now look at it again. Look at it again. What is uh, what is this net user that? It's in the C users default. So let's go there. C users default. It's not visible default here. What should I do? I want to display it. For the options. No, from here I'm going to cancel this window. I'm going to open a new window, so, yes. We need the registry, actually, because we're going to, to, to load this hype. So, uh, here it is. So, uh, I just select the user. I will not give any uh, any hints about them. Then I'm going to say Okay, load hype first of all, let's do it And it is in the download, so here it is Double click and upload it Okay, I'm going to give it a name to, to appear here I'm going to say um, Investigation underscore to and of minus five to one okay yes here it appeared if i open it i will find my date i will find uh, everything so the, actually i will not do anything here in this level i will not do anything in, uh, in here because uh, uh, software then Microsoft, then uh, Windows, then current version, uh, then policies. If I find system is not there, policies is not there. So I'll stop here. I'll stop here. Come back to the guide. I'll stop this uh, this uh, this task. I mean, so um, actually, it is a combination. What I just solved right now, it's a combination between this step. This step is just this one task to do. Uh, the purpose is to uh, support no more no less so uh, the task uh, the, the the first task it was asking us to generate uh, uh, let's say a focal point and then after it asked us to try to delete and to enable disable the uh, the most recent, uh, let's say, used documents exploration from the uh, from the let's say the unauthorized parties. To do so, we just disable the LUA, the uh, actually responsible, the high responsible for displaying and hiding 
any activity so the LUA enable we turn it to zero thus we never find any any user cont uh, account control and that's that's what happened there is no user control it's a self-controlling solution I'll pass to task number three immediately I'll pass to task number three immediately straightforward which is asking us to uh, make a dump and try to analyze it so make a dump and uh, analyze it so uh, any run in the process any run in the process come on any run in the process in the computer it um, has a thread that controls it it has a thread that controls it let me go to the process explorer i need the process explorer this is the one we downloaded an early age so this is the one let it open okay so um, let me just try to actually I have the the uh, the run in a process and they, they are already scanned versus the virus total which is a sort of 40 74 uh, antiviruses all of them and they are saying it's zero so it's not affected okay great whatever uh, what I am interested in is that I'm gonna just try to open a, pro a process which is in an uh, elevated mode originally. So I'm gonna call the asman asman.msc. This is one of the uh, controlling uh, mechanisms. Okay, asman. You'll find it somewhere. Asman or, or MMC. Who is the one? MMC. Yes. So, um, this is the one. Okay, I'm going to get the help of this uh, as man since it does not show anything. Help, then I'm going to uh, uh, see the source of this window. It's just an HTML. And then here, and then here, I'm going to open the system 32. Here we have the CMD. I'm going to type it C M D. There it is. Just open. Yeah, it does not have to be opened here. It's not this way. Open. System 32. All the files here. You see all the files. Here is the CMT, okay. I'm going to open again. It, it gets opened here. It's not. It's not. I, I do not want to open. Uh, I do not want to open it here. So here I'm going to say uh, not save us, but I'm going to say so open again. The same directory here we have the CMD. All the files. I'm going to do it differently. So right click again, uh, view source, file open, same location. I'm going to just search for it. CMD, CTXT, all, all the resources. Uh, 
here is right click okay we have the uh, CMD running if I check its integrity in the uh, process explorer what is this one actually where it is running yes it is inside the uh, it's inside the normal computer this one here so I need it inside the visual machine for a better for a better uh, reason no the Asman I have it inside the alcohol yeah that's great so inside the same computer here let me check the uh, integrity of the CMD see where it is appearing it is appearing a subcategory from the notepad which is subcategory from the CMD this is actually medium it is taking the same uh, uh, integrity like the uh, like the mom so um, <laughs> the, uh, the, uh, the the super class or the super component the task here actually I'm gonna just take a dump from this CMD and see it will give me a dump or not so right click create dump uh, full dump create full dump yes we are getting it So here, all the activities we did, they are not controlled by the uh, by the registry. They are not controlled by the registry. Yes, so here, um, just I'm gonna just explore the uh, CMD now. So, yeah, the uh, registry for searching for these recent files only. Uh, I'm gonna just explore the uh, Windows uh, recent files, so this recent resources. So, again, I'm gonna explore my. I get it. I'll be in the side and the, in the uh, full screen mode. So here, I repeat it. But here inside the H key. Software. Microsoft Windows. Okay, this is the one actually, and because and because this is actually an offline, an offline access, this is a sort of an offline, so we are not able to to see what is being actually visited so far. So um, and we are actually in a in a let's say virtual environment. It's a sort of isolated, so we do not have nothing to to, to show. There is nothing to show here. Yet, if I compare to if I compare to another, I try to open in the current computer. Hopefully, I will not get the right. Yes, registry enter. Yes, it is being blocked. Whatever. But this is the path. This is the path that actually we might think of in order to extract to check to check. Uh, whether this is the path to check whether whether there is actually cheating or not. Not only that, not only that, but actually for every each single process, I'm going to just dump 
the memory of this CMD. Let's click kill process three, but uh, it's not a context of killing here because we are going to debug. We'll see what is the what is the behavior, what is the response, and so on. So I'm going to create a dump, mini dump, make it small. Um, yes, downloads, okay, cmd.dmp. Great. So let me just now analyze and open that CMD, but where to open it? In the registry only. So after I, 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 back, that, I back that, dumped. It's not in the registry, but inside the uh, inside an IDE that to understand the dump. So here in downloads, I'm going to search for. I'm going to search by date. Better make it easy. Two five is the one. Okay, uh, where did I save it? Where did I save it? Where did I save it? Or did I save it actually inside the uh, virtual machine? Welcome, Z. I'm gonna go to desktop to download. Sorry, this is the one anti user uh, that so. Yes, I'm gonna just load that. So where I'm gonna load it, I'm gonna load it here. I'm gonna load it here inside the HK users and HK users. So I'm gonna I'm gonna just load hype. I'm gonna copy this one. I'm gonna upload this one. This is the old one. I'm gonna say open. Uh, enter a new name. I'm gonna say here O five twenty one check the file uh file not found two five twenty one Can, uh, because it's been opened in another system. Cancel. I'm gonna take the name of this one. So it's the same, but uh, it duplicates the copy. Two, five, twenty-one. Confirm. And then I'm gonna open this one. Okay, done. I'm gonna give it the name. So I'm gonna say investigation. Let's say two. Okay, great. Two. Leave it here. While load and hype, cannot load uh, that uh, error while load and hype. Okay, there is a problem actually in my in my in my device. But what we did so far, what we did so far is that we generated uh, uh, a new a new uh, copy from the all the sessions that this user is 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 having, or the current user of the computer or the device is having. And you are able to load somewhere here inside the register. You will find it. You will find it this with numbers like this or with the name you, you specify. Actually, those those system uh, uh, hives or the system entries, they are Windows based. They are actually, for this case, they are described in my uh, my uh, the property of. Uh, yes, it's private. No more. No less. It's just uh, Windows related resources. Yeah, I come back to the dump. I come back to the story of the dump. I come back to the story of the dump. Normal computer. Downloads, come on. Downloads and dump. Dump, 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 dump. I saved it in the uh, downloads. 
no worries. I'm gonna dump. I'm gonna dump it again. I'm gonna dump it again to be sure of the location of Monolith. It's okay to dump. Mini dump. Documents. Ah, I see documents. See, dump. Okay. Let me go to documents. CMD. Okay. Actually, uh, if you can see, there is an icon actually that indicates what is that. I will not do anything. First of all, I'm gonna just double click, and I will see what is the tool to uh, be suggested by the operating system. The first one is the Visual Studio, and true, Visual Studio can debug the dumps, the memory dumps. I'm gonna just confirm that. Okay, in here actually, I'm gonna just see what are the options or the actions that can give, that can be awarded uh, due to the type of the file or due to the type of the uh, resource I'm trying to debug. The options here might change. For now, actually, there is no option to to have. Actually, you can have some summary of the uh, the resource or I'm um, um, debugging the CMD here, but it's not that much uh, fruitful. I'll try to debug with native only. To extract different data, different values, or to narrow, to narrow the resource. Okay, great. So uh, everything is the same, but minimized. What are the things that actually we missed? Whatever. Here, here now we are able to uh, start debugging the uh, the resource actually because of this menu. Here we are forced for this example to stop at this level because we do not have any any other uh, other resource to do. Other yes, other activity to do for the resource we have. Hey, I'll give you the recording. I'll give you the recording. So try to um, just uh, here actually today's practice. You need to redo only. You have to redo only in order to memorize what we were able, what we did so far. <laughs> 